everybody. We're here today in Sevierville, Tennessee at Russell Stouffer's. We are. Of course, we're here on exit 407. So our plan for today is we're going to head into Russell Stouffer's, Stouffer's? Russell Stouffer's. Stouffer's Candies. We're going to show you what that's all about. Then we're going to check on the progress of Bucky's because Bucky's is located right behind here. And then we're going to go over to the new Petro's Chili and Chips which is located here on Exit 407. You ready, Dawn? I'm ready. Let's do this. It is a beautiful day here in the Great Smoky Mountains. The sun is shining. And yeah, we're gonna head in we're gonna check out all these great candies. So the one thing they're known for here is their overstock candy. You can get some really good deals on that. They also have caramel apples and ice cream and, and everything you can, all the goodness is here anyways. And they're open from 9 a.m. to 7 o'clock p.m. Monday through Sunday. And uh, it's been a while since we've been here. Of course, the real, the real reason why we're here today is that we want to start getting our candy situated for the holidays, right? right. Want to buy some candy in bulk. That way we make little stocking stuffers for the fr family and friends and, and things like that. And uh, yeah. well, let's head inside. Oh, and as soon as you walk in, you can smell chocolate. Of course, that's what they're known for here. And they have everything you can imagine. Chocolate covered pretzels. They have um, clusters there and fudge. Yeah, of course, their caramel apples are really good. And uh, I've gotten them before. And they're, yeah, so we got $5.99 for a gourmet apple and $7.99 for the chocolate drizzled caramel apple with nuts. You're coming for a little romantic weekend. They have chocolate covered strawberries. I got them in white chocolate and I think the white chocolate ones look better because you see that redness of the strawberry on top coming out. Please enjoy a sample while you shop. Oh wow, yeah, little little caramels or something, right? Caramel apples? Yeah. Ah, a little caramel apple, caramel apple sample. Oh wow, you really taste that apple on Are they good? It's strong. Yeah. Ah, they got them here by the bag. Make a good gift for everyone, you know? Yeah, so those caramel apples are eight dollars for a bag of them, and I'm gonna I'm gonna try one of them. You can smell the apple. Hmm. It, it's strong. It's powerful. You can really taste the apple and the caramel. Those are good. Mm -hmm. They have all your favorite Russell Stover chocolates here. Even the big assortment boxes. And they got all kinds. Ooh, look at the size of that. 72 pieces. <laughs> $39.99. And uh, here's a nice, a nice assorted one here. You're looking at uh, $24.99 there. Then they have the Million Airs for $24.99. That thing is huge. That is. That is like the biggest box of candy I have ever seen. Oh wow, these are adorable, Dawn. So what? They're tins. I think they're like chocolate or something. Yeah, they got the assorted chocolates in them, but they're really cool tins. I've never seen tins like you that. Seen them like this before either. It opens like on the side there. There's a gingerbread man. You got a bear. Oh, oh there's man. a gingerbread. Yeah. Wow, that's cool. And those are uh, two for thirty. Those would make a good that's gift adorable. too. And Christmas is here. Wow, so they got these really cool sleighs and they're, they're made out of tin and all kinds of goodies in there. And they're they're $100. Wow, but that's a good way of just getting one of your gifts right out of the way, you know. And you got these really cool gift baskets here. And they're $40. So you really don't have to put much effort into it. You just come here, buy it, and then just mm -hmm. pass it off, right? Pass or I, I guess, yeah. Yeah, and I like these little Christmas trees here. They got all their little peppermint treats and stuff in there. I don't see a price on those at the moment. 
see if I can find it for you. Yeah, so this store is big and it smells like candy. It smells like apples. Uh, you smell a little bit of peppermint in the air also. And, uh, oh, here's a, here's an advent calendar. It's a big one, too. It's uh, $25. You know, we should get this done and open one every day on, like, Instagram or something. That'd be right? Fun. This yeah. year? Like, we can do, like, like or maybe, like, Facebook? Maybe we should get one. Well, maybe we'll get one of these and do that. $24.99. $24.99. And Santa is here. So this is a great stop to come while you're, you know, looking for Christmas gifts this year. So if you come to Smokey, stop here. These are ornaments, caramel covered milk chocolate. And they say they're milk chocolate caramel pumpkin? Is there a pumpkin in these? Or maybe it's, I don't know, I don't see nothing about pumpkin. Caramel pumpkin. Oh, there are pumpkin. I guess pumpkin is. Caramel covered in milk chocolate. So that means Chris isn't safe. There is pumpkin at Christmas. Yes, and they're a dollar nineteen each. We should get one for Chris. You know, I think, you'll like it. I think we should. I think we should get one for him. And every single aisle you go down. Oh, there's one here. It says Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. So you can get away with maybe both at the same time, right? Mm -hmm. I like them. They're kind of festive. Yeah, two for thirty on those. And then over here you got some, just some caramels. You know, plain and simple. There's. Uh, 8.3 ounces of those for six dollars i remember getting these as a kid don't you these are cute i mean i don't think i got uh russell stover ones i think i got the cheap K kmart ones right you know what i mean like the ones for 99 cents but uh those are really cool they're a dollar 79 all kinds of little stocking stuffers and so pretty much all their candy packaging is now christmas here so you're not gonna have a problem whatsoever finding, find yeah, find Christmas These here. These are gnomes. These are cute. The gnome. I wonder if gnomes are gonna be a, a thing this year for Christmas. I think they are almost every year. I think they're like all over the stores now. Yeah. Whitman's, right? Yeah. That's a good. That's a good candy company there, Whitman's. Um, no chocolate balls. And they do have ice cream here. They have vanilla and butter and pecan and. Wow, oh, espresso chip, black cherry. They got chocolate truffles, hot cocoa truffles. Hmm. Yeah, they even have some some more of that pumpkin caramel over here, and they just got all kinds. They got caramel and marshmallow, maple cream. They do have assortment of sugar-free candies. Uh, here I don't know I think they even have chocolates and stuff too yeah they have sugar-free jelly beans uh, chocolate candies here all sugar-free even got sugar-free Whitman's there so they definitely can take care of you in that in that area so we showed you the front of the store and this is the stuff you can buy at any of your normal stores but in the back room is where the deals are at that's where the overstock is now you can probably find some halloween back there right now for you know pennies on the dollar well i don't know about pennies on the dollar but it's pretty cheap and uh they even have overstocks and um bulk you can buy like like just bulk chocolate yeah so you have the store up front but we gotta head to the back room yes that's where all the deals are at and they do have deals back here so some of this could be overstock like melt away santas right is that for like hot cocoa yeah dollar 79 for a 1.7 ounce oh, yeah you can put in your hot cocoa right mm -hmm. and then you have like your assorted chocolate classic brown line right That's so you, cute with a little red truck on. yeah 10 dollars now you know as you go around you'll start finding maybe some Halloween or you know these could be overstocks and sometimes they do confuse you and they put the stuff from up front back here you know kind of like you know get you to buy it but you got to be smart about that right you gotta be smart and this is probably what that is but you go over there you'll start finding you know the overstocks the bulk you know yeah, there's Halloween on that back wall, and that's where the best deals are going to be. Let's let's go check uh, that out.
So this is where you're gonna get your best deal. Now, yes, it's not gonna work for Christmas, but if you just want some candy, you know, I imagine there's some folks out there that might save it until next year. Mm -hmm. <laughs> the chocolate will be a little bit white then. You can mm -hmm. still eat it. I mean, it's going to be good, but anyways, but this is where you get your best deal because <laughs> the original price were $1.79. Now they're only 89 cents for these He's ones. A he is. He is. He's cute. And then over here, these were $5.99. Now they're only $2.99. Right, and then these are really cute. Now this here, you could save the bag for next year and get into the goodies okay. now, right? And those were fourteen ninety nine. Don, you you're messing it all up. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> Gosh. Anyways, that was seven uh, forty nine now, but you can keep the bag for next year. Put your goodies in it. And this is, like I said, this is where you can get your best deal. You have the coconut nest, you know. And you can tell right here, here's the Christmas version of that, right? And then here is the Halloween version. It's the same chocolate, you know, just, you know, cheaper. Especially if you're going to eat it yourself or maybe give it to a friend or something. 59 cents compared to the dollar nineteen. That's like 50% off, you know? There's Easter stuff back here too. There could be some Easter? Well, I did well, what, what, yeah, there is some Easter over here. Oh, wow. So are these left over from Easter of last year? Oh, like they could be coming in early or overstock. Yeah, overstock. They could be. This could be like, they do bring out things real early here. But um, just like this, $1.79. Now it's $0.89. Cents. But getting back over here to the... They got um, coconut creams, and they have the pumpkin chocolate truffle. Now those are those pumpkin chocolate truffles, but now, but only in the Halloween themed for fifty nine cents. And they have a lot of it. I think you can get a maybe a little better deal if you buy it by the case too. They will sell it to you, and all this is just overstock. This is where they bring it, you know, when it doesn't ship out. We got pumpkins and chocolate marshmallow looking got good. Of those. Well, they do. That's they do. Oh, wow. I turned around and look at there's tons of it over here. <laughs> yeah, a lot of Halloween candy, a lot of Halloween chocolate. And they also have Valentine's Day. Now, you get these in the store for $20 a piece, but here they're $12.49. And you can look on the box here, uh, it's best before April of 2022. So these are, uh, you know, best before, but to be honest with you, we've had some of these candy before and it's still good. I mean, it just doesn't go bad. It's, 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 all, it's all sugar, <laughs> you know, but um, they do have that. But if, if that is a concern, the date, definitely make sure you look at the dates on things. Um, this might not be uh, for you. They even have some of the reduced sugar-free here, too. Now, this here is their bloopers. And this is where you can buy this in, in bulk. Now, we've had these before, and there's a lot. I mean, there's like three pounds, and it's heavy. Three pounds of chocolate. Jeez, yeah. yeah, three pounds of it. And we've had it before. Sometimes they're just like a little bit weird. Like, you know, like the machine maybe had like a little machine mark on it or something. Um, but that's a good way to get a lot of chocolate. And then they have a deal. So that's $26.99 each. Buy one and get one free. So, you know, that's a pretty good, pretty good deal. And then here, these are just more assorted chocolates. Uh, they're not sugar free. And they have a deal going on now. It's a great way to, um, you know, if you're a chocolate lover, this is tis, tis the season. They have stacks of candy as high as you are. There's a lot of candy. And you can smell chocolate. I mean, it's just, it's definitely. So we're going to go get some. I think we're going to get some of the Halloween candy. Because seeing that it's, it was only about two weeks ago. We're going to grab some of that. And... I don't know if we're going to get that advent calendar. It was $25. You know, we still have a little bit of time on that. Put in the comments below, should we get that calendar and then do that during December? Let us know in the comments. 
these here are my favorite by far the nest the coconut nest i absolutely love these uh, i like the ones with the jelly beans they put jelly beans in them yeah, that's for easter that's for easter though but these are the pumpkin version that's without they have jelly beans in those no things. without the jelly beans though right mm -hmm. we'll grab two of those we got a oh, yes. running out of space huh <laughs> we don't get a lot you know we live here so if we want some more we'll just come back yeah. but i think that should be enough right yeah. that's all the goodness right there <laughs> ah, a little bit of chocolate right they have a rewards program that we do belong to and they'll give you like free candy or give you a percentage off i highly recommend uh, getting into that also another tip be careful where you put these because they will melt <laughs> so make sure it's in a cool place we've done that before we got home and they were all melted but we put them in the freezer and yeah we, they're edible but you know now we're going to check out the progress of bucky's which is located directly directly behind here is where it's at um the building is up and it looks like a bucky so i'm gonna check that out real quick so in the spring of 2023 we'll have a bucky's here in Sevierville, right off exit 407. And it looks like a Bucky's. Of course, you can see the gas pumps right there. A lot of folks in there working on it. It's kind of dusty back here. Yeah, it's Bucky's. They're coming along though. They are coming along. I would say definitely in the spring of 2023. And coming soon to Sevierville in 2023. Bucky's is coming. Pretty soon we're gonna be going Bucky crazy. I'm so excited to see the building up. And it looks like a Bucky's now from the outside. It's going up. It is, and the gas pumps are starting to go up and mm -hmm. we'll keep bringing you updates, but I'm, it's gonna be great. I'm glad we're gonna have our own Bucky's here. We can go Bucky crazy whenever we want. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we can get our fix up. We get our Bucky's fix. So in this region, Petro's Chili and Chips is a thing and this one just opened in our area of course it's in a gas station yeah. but they just opened and you can go to knoxville and you can go all through i think south carolina i know they're everywhere but this is the first one in Sevierville. so let's head on in and and see what that's all about so there's exit 407 there this is where you get off to start your vacation. And heading this way will take you towards Pigeon Forge in Gatlinburg. And of course, there's a great big, huge iced tea. And of course, they're known for their iced tea with like a hint of orange in it. So we're gonna try some of that today. Of course, it's, it's located here at a mobile station and the Fireworks Supermarket. Of course, that is iconic to this area. And just behind all this is that's where the new Bucky's is being built, right behind like the fireworks supermarket. But we're gonna head into the gas station here and check out Petro's today. Oh boy, some chili and chips. And of course, this is the time to do this because it's cool out, it's fall. What other better than have some chili, right? So we had Petro's before uh, over in Knoxville. And it's pretty much like just chili and corn chips and cheese. And there's some other things. Um, I guess you, it's kind of like Subway. You can pick your toppings like sour cream or, or other things. But it's been a long time. And I can't remember exactly. So let's go in there and check it out. They also do spuds here. They have a spudtacular. Now that sounds good also. Maybe I'll get a spud and maybe, and maybe, maybe some chili. They're open from 11 a.m. to 9 p.m. Monday through Sunday. Oh, it smells brand new in here. 
Yeah, it's a Tennessee tradition since 2001. Yeah, it's a local favorite. You can find them over in Knoxville, but this is the first Sevier County location that I know of. One of a kind. Uniquely delicious. They have chili cheese dogs. They have slaw dogs. They have a, a Petro dog over there. They also have uh, original Petro chili. They have a vegan option and premium. You get the cheesy queso, um, grilled chicken, Petro. They also have nachos. They have pulled pork and chicken nachos. And they're also known for their orange iced tea here. They have spuds. They also have a blue cheese wedge salad. So they, this is a healthy option to eat. Oh, so there's their special iced tea there. Look at that. And you put a little lemon in it. I got lemon I over it here. Was orange. Oh, sure it, it's oh, it orange. is orange. Yeah. I'm gonna grab an orange. Of course you want to put an orange in it, right? I mean, <laughs> that's what you do, right? Mm -hmm. You want one or two? Yeah, just the one. Yeah. We'll fill it all the way up. Oh, yeah, looking good. And then they have an orange, a Tennessee orange straw for Tennessee. Yeah, a hint of orange iced tea. And you can also get it by the gallon. Yeah, so this just opened like a week or so ago. And uh, it's good to have this here in the Smokies. We can come up here and get some good healthier stuff. And I don't know how healthy. Oh, so what do you think about that tea? <laughs> it's tea. Uh, is it potent? It's potent. This is our famous sweet tea here. Mmm. Not bad. You can, a little hint of, of orange in it. It is here and wow, there's a lot. I didn't realize that we were gonna get that much. First off, look at the size of that potato. I mean, it's, it's bigger than my hand. So that's a good thing we ordered one of those because we could share that. And then we ordered two of their famous. Small. These are small. Yeah, those are the smalls. So the large has got to be like huge. <laughs> Definitely get the smaller ones. Of course, there's some bacon, uh, chicken. Uh, they have black olives and cheese. Of course, the chili is in there. And it looks really, really good. And then I ordered a slaw dog because... There's nothing more southern than a, a slaw dog, right? Or at least in this area. In fact, Dolly, she loves slaw dogs. So I figured we can get that. But, you know, the hot dog went pretty much overkill on this one. But at least we're showing you. So we're going to share the hot dog. We're going to share everything. We're going to cut it all in half. And, uh, yeah. So I just cut the potato in half and it just oozed out. Looks like butter. Look at how much butter. Okay, so I don't know if this is really healthy at all. And there's a lot of toppings. And then, of course, look at that slaw dog. Let's, let's get a let's get a sideways view on that. Yeah, that's that's a slaw dog. That's a slaw dog. Oh, that one's mine, by the way. And look at the chili. Yeah, so Dawn's gonna get into that dog right off the bat. Mm. Is it good? Mm -hmm. It is. It is, huh? The coleslaw is creamy. Mm. So there's some chili, and then there's coleslaw on top. Oh, it's really good, actually. And the, the bun is soft. And so this is the big question: Do you want to get in your chili, or do you want to get into that potato first? Or maybe how about we get in the potato mm -hmm. and the chili at the same time, right? Kind of like dibble dabble, or mix it all up in there. Let's see what's in there. So you got the you got the cheddar cheese, you got, you got some sour cream, sour you got cream, onions, you got cheese. Did you even get any, is there any potato even in that? I don't know. It looks like it's, oh wow, it's all cheesy and. So yeah, there is some potato down in there. You wouldn't think mm. there's a whole lot of it though. It's good. Is it? So yeah, sour cream, the potato. The potato is really, really good. It's big enough for two people. Mm -hmm. That potato is, that might be the best potato. See now, I used to go to McAllister's and get their potatoes. They're expensive. They're you know, they're twelve bucks here. What are they like six dollars, six or seven dollars? And it's one heck of a potato. Like this could be the best potato 
around. A lot of butter down there. I think Paula Dean would be would be proud, wouldn't she? I can see her being proud. Yeah, I think Paula Dean would be proud. <laughs> There's a good amount of butter. Here's the story of Petro's. In 1932, the Frito was invented, and in 1982, Joe and Carl introduced the world to Petro's at the 1982 World's Fair in Knoxville and became a crowd favorite. Okay, so now we're down to this crazy chili. And this has chicken in this chili. Of course, I believe there's some there's some bacon. Go ahead and mix that all up in there. Let's see what we we're dealing with. So what do we got in there? I think it's a corn chip. So there's corn chips in there. There's some chili. Looks like we have um, yeah some chicken. sour cream and like yep. And there's tomato in there. Tomato. What do you think? It's pretty good. Got some chicken. A little bit of chicken. You gotta try that chicken out. It's good. Mm -hmm. Uh, so yes, this is a Knoxville tradition here, dating all the way back to the World's Fair in 82. And it looks good. That is really good. I've had it before, and uh, it's been years, like maybe eight years, and I forgot how good it was. So we got a slaw dog, a loaded baked potato, two Petros, a 32 ounce drink, and it came out to 33.02. Wow, that Bucky's is coming along. What did you think about that? It, it's gonna be open definitely next year for sure. Yes. And what did you think about Petro's ch chili and chips? I enjoyed the chili and chips, but I think that the baked potato was my favorite. The baked potato was probably one of the better baked mm -hmm. potatoes I've ever had, really, to be honest and with And that you. was definitely by far a good slaw, slaw dog. Now the chili was, more of like the toppings and it was chili mm -hmm. it was there good wasn't much chili in it but I, the potato was good mm -hmm. now and the slaw dog was good yeah yeah i would definitely do that again in fact uh we probably might find ourselves going out there and doing that more often so russell stover's is really good um definitely a, a great place to get any of your holiday candy uh but folks that's gonna do it for today here in Sevierville, here on Exit 407. If you guys like this vlog, give it, give a, it thumbs a thumbs up. up. Also, if you guys haven't subscribed, please subscribe so you don't miss these upcoming Smoky Mountain Adventures. And until next time. Thanks for watching. Bye, Bye everyone. everyone.